Republicans pray Trump holsters his tariffs. Senate Republicans just want one thing when it comes to Donald Trump's global trade war a ceasefire. It's a move that would benefit not just their caucus, senators argue, but the president too. If Trump withholds new tariffs, he can reasonably expect Senate passage of his new North American trade deal this summer assuming Speaker Nancy Pelosi budges in the House you still a big if. And if he imposes, Trump already got a taste of how Senate Republicans would confront him during his will he or want, he vow to impose stiff tariffs on Mexico. Using the chance to approve a new NAFTA replacement as a carrot and threats to block his Mexico tariffs as the stick, GOP senators last week successfully helped stop 5% levies on all Mexican goods. But Trump warned, if Mexico does not step up, I think the president, meanwhile, there's a short window to pass the US-Mexico-Canada trade agreement in Congress, one that will close you perhaps permanently you if the president unleashes any more tariff threats. It's too hard to judge precisely where we are on that, said Sr. Mitt Romney are you? The long-running dispute between Senate Republicans and the President came to a head last week, as several Republicans predicted that the President could face jaw-dropping defections in the chamber to block any effort to impose those tariffs on Mexico. That too would have put, for most of the year, the USMCA has been in severe jeopardy, not just in the Democratic House but in the Senate, where Republicans first threatened to stall any vote as long as steel and aluminum tariffs remained on US allies. Senate Finance After wiping away the threat of the Mexico tariffs, senior Republicans say once again the conditions are ripe for passage of the President's chief legislative achievement of this Congress. So they need to move, to me, it feels like the near-term issues have been resolved, said Senior. John Thune of South, yet what Republicans have learned after nearly 30 months with Trump in the White House is that the President can turn on a dime. The Mexico tariff, he made a bogus threat to impose tariffs, which the business community and Republicans in Congress rejected, said Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer DNY. And now the President, yet Trump also experienced unprecedented Republican pushback the party has not yet before offered to provide a veto-proof majority in opposition to his policies, a real escalation of the intra-party feud. But Trump seems, uh, without tariffs, we would be captive to every country, and we have been for many years, Trump said on CNBC on Monday. They take advantage of, the president sees tariffs as a blunt and unilateral tool that allows him to force foreign countries to take him seriously. Republicans said, whether Trump will use the tariff threat again is only a matter of time, allies say. I am certain of it, said Senior. Kevin Kramer are, he likes to use tariffs as a negotiating tool, said Senior. John Cornyn are, yet the blowback could only increase the next time the president brings them up. For one, and that's because September will be filled with tough funding fights over the debt and government spending, all while the Democratic presidential primary heats up. I am hoping we can get that back on track and done by the August break. That's the goal, yet there's plenty of time between now and then for the deal with Mexico to fall apart or for border crossings to continue their steep rise. So while Republicans wait for Pelosi to move, they're keeping one eye on their own whip count and the other on Trump's Twitter feed, wary that this week's relative calm could be upended at any instant with the tariff threat roaring anew. Weave.